Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the video. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to jailbreak the fourth generation Apple TV running iOS 12 to 12.1.2. Now, a couple things here. It looks like it's only going to support the fourth generation Apple TV, and that being the HD version that has the USB-C port on the back. But using the computer method that we're going to in today's video, this is the only Apple TV that supports this because you can connect it via USB-C to the computer. Well, before we jump into things, I wanted to show you guys this game I've been playing lately called Raid Shadow Legends. Now, the Raid Special Launch Tournament is happening right now, and if you guys use my link down below in this video's description, you'll get 50k of silver worth of in-game currency. So this is just the very start of the storyline, but I figured I'd show you guys a little quick sneak peek of what to expect in this game. But yeah, oh man, this is my first boss fight. We'll have to see how this goes. But look at these graphics, that is just insane. There's so many champions now, holy crap, this is gonna be a giant battle. What are those things? It's kinda like a turn-by-turn -turn fighting style, but there's a bunch of different stuff you can do in this game. Honestly, it's really enjoyable just because the graphics are fantastic. Anyway, here's a couple shots from what I did. I mean, this is just crazy. This is my first boss fight right here, and it was just, it was harder than expected, but it was still manageable, and I don't know, it was pretty fun. Let me know what you guys think down below. But this game is sick. The graphics are top notch. They're fantastic for a mobile game. The storyline's great. The gameplay is fun with PvP battles and boss fights and all like I just tried. And the best thing is the game is entirely free to download. Now, it's super easy to jump in and get started. Basically, choose your champion, and there's tons to choose from, but we'll just take a look at a few here. But just look at the detail on these characters. Anyway, choose your champion and then get directly into the game. Now, the coolest part is you guys will automatically be entered into their special launch tournament. And here, you can compete with me and other players online to win physical and in-game prizes. Anyway guys, that's a quick look at Raid Shadow Legends. Let's get back into jailbreaking. Now, as you guys might know if you watch this channel, the Chimera Jailbreak was released for iOS 12 to 12.1.2, of course with A12 support. Well, as a side note, with the release of this main jailbreak utility for iOS devices, the same jailbreak utility also was released for tvOS. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get directly into this video so we can plug this guy into power with the standard power cable, just like that. You can plug in your HDMI cable to the TV, although that is not necessarily needed for this first step. What is needed, however, is a USB-C to standard USB 2.0 cable, just like this, because surprisingly this port on the back of the Apple TV right here, it's actually not a lightning port, it's a USB-C port. So with the USB-C end of this cable, we can connect that in right there to the Apple TV, just like that. And then the other end, we of course will connect to our computers. So the Apple TV is plugged in over here now. I'm just gonna give it a second and let it connect to power and power on basically. And there we have it, the Apple TV is now powered on. So before we start and get too far into things, I just wanted to show you guys real fast if I go over to settings and show you guys what OS I'm currently on. If I go to settings, general, about, I'm currently on tvOS 12.1. And again, if you guys are on something newer than 12.1.1, this jailbreak will not work for you. And unfortunately, there is no way to downgrade. It's just like iOS. Once the signing window is closed, that's it. But if you guys want your Apple TV to not automatically install updates, you can actually navigate down to system, go into that, navigate to software updates right there, and you can make sure automatically update is turned off and deselected. So on the computer now, we're gonna go ahead and download the Chimera Jailbreak for tvOS. So you can go ahead and navigate to this site and click on this link right here to begin the download. Also, you guys are going to need Cydia Impactor to sideload this application onto your device. So with everything downloaded on our computer with our Apple TV plugged in, we are good to go. Now we can actually open up Cydia Impactor and make sure it recognizes our Apple TV. Mine right now is just called New Living, so it recognizes it, that is good to go. Now we can just drag and drop this IPA file. Again, it's the Chimera Jailbreak version 1.0.2. Just download the latest version, whatever it is, and drag and drop, like I said, enter our Apple ID here, and enter your password. 
and now the application is being sideloaded onto your guys' Apple TV. And when I switch screens here in just a second, you guys will see it appear. But if you guys have two-factor authentication enabled on your Apple ID accounts, you're going to have to generate an app-specific password. Now this can be done by going to appleid.apple.com, signing in there, scrolling down where it says generate app-specific password. You can enter anything in this box once it appears and it will output a password that you can use to sideload applications just like this. So when you go back into City Impactor, you're still going to use your Apple ID, but instead of your regular password, you're going to use this newly generated app specific password in its place. Anyway, back on the Apple TV side of things, I guess I have to exit out of my screensaver here. And as you guys will see, the only application I really have installed right now is the Chimera Jailbreak. So now that it's sideloaded on our devices, we can go ahead and enter it. Just click on the application to open it. And here we have it. We can set our boot nonce. There's some credits and we can actually restore root FS, which is awesome. That is really cool. So that is going to be used to unjailbreak your Apple TVs. Anyway, to get started, we can go ahead and make sure jailbreak is selected and we can go ahead and press jailbreak. And just like the iOS version, it has steps one out of three. It has that really cool animation going on in the background. Here we are prompted and it says reboot required. Chimera has to reboot to finish the jailbreak process. When your device reboots, reopen Chimera to complete the process. So we're gonna click okay. And there we have it, we're back online. So let's go ahead and re-jailbreak one more time. This time it's actually going to perform the jailbreak process. The first time it just created that root file system snapshot so you guys can restore to that if you ever want to unjailbreak. Real quickly, I just wanted to take a look at what the credits look like. Okay, that looks pretty cool. You can set your nonce. So again, pretty simple there. And uh, let's see what that looks like. Okay, it says the next time you jailbreak your phone, that's really funny, it's a TV, the root file system will be restored. So as you guys can see, just like the phone, now it says restore root file system. That's what's gonna be used if you guys ever want to unjailbreak. Oh, I guess you can just click cancel restore right there. So now we can scroll up. Here we go for the actual jailbreak process. Click jailbreak and again, we're going through steps one out of three. I really like how this looks on the Apple TV on a giant screen. And steps three out of three. I think this process is almost quicker on the Apple TV than it is on iOS devices. Granted, the Chimera jailbreak has been absolutely phenomenal on my A12 iPhone. So props to Coolstar and the rest of the Electra jailbreak team. Now it says respring required. Chimera has to respring to finish the jailbreak process. If this is your first time running Chimera, Nido TV will launch automatically after a few resprings. Please be patient. So we can go ahead and click OK. And it looks like it's gonna go through a couple resprings here. Once it's done, it should have Nido TV all installed on the jailbreak. So for whatever reason, Nido TV wasn't opening up after initially jailbreaking, so I went ahead and restarted my Apple TV. Now again, right after restart, this is not an untethered jailbreak, so the jailbreak application will have to be run every time your Apple TV is unplugged, but that can't be really too often. Anyway, we can go ahead and click jailbreak once more to re-enable our jailbreak. If you guys ever have to restart, this is how simple it is. You open the application and click jailbreak once more. And that's really how quick it was. Let's go ahead and see if Nitto TV will open up this time. And there we have it guys. For whatever reason, it didn't open up successfully right after initially jailbreaking but just restarting our devices and re-enabling the jailbreak. Now you guys basically have a third-party package installer or a third-party app store on your Apple TV to install things like Flappy Bird. You can go ahead and click install and I'll show you guys how cool this is. This kind of has a Cydia-esque look. It would be insane if they were able to port Cilio over to Apple TV, but maybe. Anyway guys, I'll let you guys know if that happens, but this is installing Flappy Bird right now. Anyhow, after the respring, as you guys can see, Flappy TV is now installed on our devices. And oh God, I am not very good at this game, but 
as you guys can see, we can now play Flappy Bird on our Apple TVs. One of the few games I actually think would- Ah, oh, haha, ha, I am not good at this game. But in any case, guys, that is how to jailbreak your Apple TV running tvOS 12 to 12.1.1 and install Nitto TV. Again, this sets you up perfectly to not only install things here, but to install things like Kodi right at the top. You can easily install this and install some custom builds as well. In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys made it to the end, I really appreciate your support. Anyway, if you guys wanna see more awesome content just like this, let us know down below what you guys really want to see from us. That helps out a ton. Should we do iPad videos, a perfect jailbreak setup? Do you guys like beta OS updates? What's your guys' favorite? What are you not seeing from us? Anyway, let us know down below. Thank you again so much for watching. We'll be back with another awesome video very soon. But until next time, this is Tony signing out.